Hey there YouTube, Dr. Yash here. Welcome back to another episode of Tool Tip Third Day. So I just want to show you a couple tools I use that I keep in this little zipper pouch here that I got on Amazon. It came with these carburetor adjusting tools you see in the with the black handles. But these are the rest of the tools I like to use. So we'll start with the carburetor adjusting tools. These are basically little screwdrivers and they have like this one has a bunch of splines in it. I think it's 23 splines. And it's for, you know, like Husqvarna's and Poland's and things like that that use that style. Then you have the 4 millimeter hex, which is what's normally used on like a steel carburetor. Then you have the, another kind of splined, which is like six splines. I don't even know if I've really used that one too much. Some of these are kind of uncommon carburetor types, but it's nice to have. This is what's known as the Pac-Man. It has one little injunction sticking on the inside. Uh, those are, I can't remember who uses those, but I've used that one before. They call this one the, the single D. It has one flat on the ground in the side of it. And um, the carburetor I'm using on Old Henry, actually, the Old Henry project, that one actually is a single D adjusting screw. This one's the double D adjusting screw, which is two flats. There is the small pack man, which some of the barrel style throttle wall bro carburetors use that. And then there's also a really tiny single D, and those tiny wall bros will use that as well. Depends on what manufacturer is using it. I've got a spring puller here. It's extremely handy for putting on clutch springs or if you have a muffler on like a weed eater, such as the old Henry project that has springs holding it on instead of bolts. This is just a you know a little tire tool. That's pretty self-explanatory. I got a really a piece of really fine sandpaper for cleaning up points. Uh, a couple of Briggs flywheel keys, just so I don't lose them. And then different kinds of feeler gauges. I got two sets of regular ones. There's a brass feeler gauge in here at ten thousandths for setting up coil gaps, and this is a specific feeler gauge for steel Formex engines. Uh, that makes it really nice. You just get out an 8 millimeter wrench and this feeler gauge and then adjust the valves. So, I also have a piston stop which is handy for taking bolts out of crankshafts and stuff like that. Then this is actually a seal slash grommet sort of standoff thing for Kohler air filters. But what it's good for is you can actually take, if you have a hard to reach or hot spark plug or something like that where you can't get to it or you don't want to touch the end of it you just stick it over the end and use it as a handle so that's pretty neat and I got various little screwdrivers here there's kind of a wide flat tip there's a really long uh, narrow tip and then here's a short really narrow tip and then this one is even narrower it's like a really fine point this is nice for well you can see here this this really long screwdriver here makes it nice to get in on some of these these Walbro carbs with the old style screws on them. This type of carburetor here is supposed to have limiter caps over these adjustment screws, but even with the caps on it, you can get in here with this really narrow screwdriver. You can go through the limiter cap and adjust it. So these are basically all most of the screwdrivers I have in here are used for adjusting carburetors that are either preset by the manufacturer or limited because of EPA restrictions but if you know how to tune them they'll run clean anyway uh, here's a spark plug gap tool because you know it's something else you probably should be doing is adjusting the plug gap but I use all these tools most of them I use on a daily basis uh, maybe not the piston stop or maybe not the spring puller, but they're all used pretty commonly especially the screwdrivers I have this pack out every day for one reason or another so um, So it's you know, this is a really handy little toolkit. I just keep it in the top of my glove box, but you can get the little zipper pouch and the carburetor adjusting tools on Amazon for I think it was like less than 10 bucks but it's really nice to have and they have really made it easy for me to adjust carburetors one thing I actually like about the 
funky adjusting screws is they're all socket head so you can stick the the bigger screws you can just stick the adjustment screwdriver on the on the screw like if you're working on a chainsaw you can stick that screwdriver on there you can put the saw in the wood and start cutting and then you can adjust on the fly without having to fumble around with a screwdriver you know a regular flathead screwdriver or something that's not you have to figure out if it's engaged in the screw and all that stuff so there are some pros to them using that stuff those you know proprietary screws but um yeah so that's a little tool little tool kit i carry so let me know what you think um in the comments let me know if there's something you want to see something you think i have or something i could get uh, i'm totally up for suggestions but as always like comment subscribe and until next time see ya